And Witness News reporter Lena Folk spoke with one winner and one candidate who's likely to take the seat. With the ballots still being counted for the city council race, we don't know all the winners yet. But one thing we do know, which candidates are in the lead. Bakersfield's ward races have been close calls this election season, but Ward 5 might soon know who their new council person will be. Firefighter, it takes three years for a firefighter really Planning to... Commissioner Larry Coleman is currently in the lead against Mike Madrigal and Kevin Oliver. So I, I feel like this is my path and uh, uh, my desire to serve the community has grown over the years. I'm very active in the community as it is now. I will continue to be active. I expect to be uh, uh, very visible and very available uh, to all voters, but especially to the voters of Ward 5. If he were to take the seat, he plans to continue support for fire and police departments. Komen tells Eyewitness News that opponent Kevin Oliver congratulated him, but Mike Madrigal has not reached out. Men of honor don't pull knives on women, and that's a hard, hard rule. I don't think his statement that he made during the campaign uh, fully took responsibility, and there was no apology in that. Uh, statement. And so uh, I did not make a statement regarding that during the election uh, because it would have been self-serving. And on Tuesday night, incumbent Andre Gonzalez announced his Ward 2 victory. There are so many people who who um, laughed at me and said, you know, there's, there's no need to really campaign because of uh, because of the fact that I was an incumbent and I've been involved in the community. Uh, but I didn't want to take anything for granted and wanted to go directly to the voters. Gonzalez faced off against first-time politician Michael Cardenas. Cardenas saw a little over 41 percent of votes. Gonzalez says he's looking forward to expanding on Ward 2's historic features, as it is the oldest part of town. I'm not going to wait for another election uh, to go out in, into neighborhoods and talk to people. Uh, it's something that I'm, I'm pledging to continue to do over time. Moving west, we have Ward 6, and business owner Zach Bajertash leads with over 35 percent of the vote. Community Affairs Representative Imelda Siha is trailing closely behind with over 30 percent of votes. Mail-in ballots will be accepted seven days after Election Day, as long as they are postmarked on or before November 5th. Reporting in Bakersfield, Lena Folk, Eyewitness News. Hi, I'm Rochelle Murcia with Eyewitness News Bakersfield Now on YouTube. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel where we have tons of great content to choose from. While you're here, go ahead and click on the subscribe button right there. That way you can stay up to date on all the things related within Kern County. Thanks for watching.